What is going on, Collectors Optical 20? Back for another video. I guess preview. Uh, it's been released. Venom from Venom 2. Let there be carnage. And you can still actually pre-order this at BigBadToyStore.com. I'll put the link down below. So this is... I had the first Venom. I I knew this. I, well, I'm not going to lie. I didn't knew it was coming because they're practically the same. Outside of some differences, of course, like the biggest one would be this head sculpt, which if you had the first Venom, you still have a chance to pick this up without picking up this Venom. If you take, if you get Carnage, the deluxe version, which also has a bust. So that's a little incentive to go for the deluxe because it does have the bust. Uh, this one has the pipe, which was replaced by the sword. Uh, that from the previous Venom, but other than those two, uh, basically they're the same figure. The stand as well, you know, it has a different stand, but they look good together, Venom and Carnage. I must say that. I watched the movie. I'm gonna say this the same thing with Carnage. I watched the movie. You know, was entertaining. I I wouldn't say it's. I don't remember the movie to be quite honest with you. I remember them being there because they are the you know, but I remember it's being dark. And that's pretty much it. Now, as a figure, Venom just translated well. As 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 well as I thought he would be. And it looks like it's the same way for Carnage. Where it's still a great looking figure. Uh, regardless of what you think about the movie, I still want to own Carnage. As far as this Venom, of course I'm going to skip it. Because the one thing that uh, entices me about this is the head sculpt. Which I could get from carnage but if you don't have a venom yet this would be a great opportunity to pick them up without let's say you you are on the fence about carnage you don't even need to get carnage because some to some people getting the carnage deluxe version just gives you an incentive because you'll get this head sculpt now you don't need that if you are starting off with this guy i would recommend this figure if you don't have a venom yet if you have one, I would just, why would you buy this? Just buy Carnage instead, right? Uh, spend the money on Carnage. Now you have two figures and you get the head sculpt that you wanted. Uh, there's not a whole lot of difference here. But if you don't have any Venom, I highly recommend this. I mean, it, it, it is a very unique figure in a sense that I haven't seen one prior, you know, before Venom. I've seen larger figures like Hulk, um, you know, and, and all that stuff. But something like him is is pretty unique now i know there's a seam on the elbow but since how the paint application is is there it's not really that noticeable i'm not gonna lie to you the tendrils work is fine this head sculpt looks looks pretty good um I'm not gonna lie i wish i had that uh the first venom sold out quickly for whatever reason and then it fizzled out as a matter of fact, you can if you go to BSTs, not even just now, prior to this, you could actually pick him up for pretty cheap. Uh, people were selling him under MSRP. Uh, the, the hype has gone down. Honestly, the hype only lasted maybe two weeks or so. Not going to lie. He sold out. People panicked, started buying them You know, at a higher price. It actually went back up for a little bit. You see the wait list converting. Um, and then it, this was announced. So... If honestly, I'm even gonna go as far as I feel like this is gonna sit, and I I feel like same as Carnage, because of the higher price tag, and the amount of options that we do have now, I think this is gonna see a discount in the near future. Now, what does that mean? I would say a year from now, if you could wait that long. But if you can't, this is a pretty good deal. You know, for 400 something, you get two head sculpts. And then if you still want to dive into Carnage, then you can buy Carnage the single pack because you don't really need the other head sculpt. Although you might want to have the bust, then you could sell the head sculpt separately, maybe on eBay or so. Maybe somebody who has no plans on getting Carnage might just get the head sculpt itself and then you keep the bust. So there's a lot of ample of opportunities here to complete your collection or or to mix and match them. So I like the fact that Hot Toys gives us option on how to do that. I do love that Carnage. I'm not going to lie. I'm waiting though. I'm, I'm with the people here. I'm waiting for Carnage. I don't know how how long I can hold off for but, or what is the sweet spot for me in terms of discount. Uh, 
same with Venom. If you don't have one, I'm I'm letting you know. I, I have a gut feeling this would sit. But the question is, what is the sweet spot for all of you? And I would love to hear that on the comments. Because 10% of this, let's say it goes 10%. Let's say Sideshow goes up to very rare though, 30% off. If we're going by Sideshow here. 30% off might be their peak. And not everyone hits 30. I think Captain Marvel is the only one that I've seen in the Hot Toys realm hit 30. Uh, the other ones, mostly the, 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 the highest so far is 25 25% of this is over $100. So that's significant savings because this is pretty expensive. 400 something, you put 25. Now, it's not guaranteed that it's going to hit 25. Maybe it hits 20 at most. It's still pretty significant. That's almost $100 still, you know? So you keep on doing that. But the question is, how long can you hold off? Is there a risk of this selling out? There's always a risk. Hot Toys is kind of weird nowadays. Something sells out, something sits uh, mostly the Star Wars I haven't seen, you know, like the, we, we don't know yet, right? Like the clone trooper has been still on wait list. Some of their attack of the clones are on wait list. But as far as Marvel, um, maybe I don't, I just don't see it. I, especially for this and Carnage, I think they were going to sit, um, sit for a while, maybe a year. Uh, maybe it's not till the year mark. Cause right. If you're going to base it off somebody like, you know, I don't know who's that a vision or uh winter soldier they got discounted but not heavily um these guys are a bit more expensive so they might in the bigger box so you know if you know warehouses they want to get rid of those dead stocks especially the one that's occupying space and and these guys are going to occupy some you know massive real estate because they're huge so maybe but as far as if if we take out a price i do own the first venom like i said amazing looking figure amazing you should have it if you're a spider-man fan if you have i can even make an argument that you should own venom if you only have four or five hundred dollars you can only buy one i would recommend venom any day of the week before carnage um you know carnage as good as he looks you've got spider-man i think venom meshes well with spider-man well uh, better than, than carnage so but yeah let me know in the comments are you gonna pick this up if you haven't had venom yet are, are you excited for this are you gonna wait or just pick it up right off the bat? Because I, you don't, you don't know. I mean, you know, I'm speculating this is gonna sit, but it could go on wait list just same as the other Venom right away too. So, are you willing to take that risk? You're waiting out. You don't really like Venom. Love to hear your thoughts. Thank you for watching. Hopefully, you love this video. Give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel, and I will see you guys in the next video.